Hi, I'm Ken Kleinadler, your golf course superintendent, and welcome to the June 2020 State of the Course. In this State of the Course update, we just want to check in. This is our first closed nine holes for the summer. We hope everybody had a great season. We hope everyone's having a great summer as well. Uh, it's made the team and I more than happy to be able to open nine holes and just only close nine at a time, uh, giving us extra uh, days for you to get out there and play golf. So we're enjoying seeing the smiling faces and we're all very grateful uh, to be at Collier's Reserve to, to be doing what we love to do. And speaking of which, on this first closed week, we chose to close the back nine. I'm here on hole number 15, where we started the Sox installation. That's the Lake Bank restoration material out here. And so behind me, wanted to touch about touch on a couple of the steps that we've completed so far. Now you'll see this big area, all this mucky material that was pulled out of that first area there to the left of the Audubon tee. That was one of our muckiest, nastiest areas. So we want to remove all that. We'll re be replacing that with straight sand. And then as we go down the hole, we're gonna find those mucky spots as well, replace those with straight sand. And then we're gonna take that socks material. It's kind of like they call it a, a lake taco. It folds right over. We use a dredging machine to pull organic material from the bottom of the lake and we put it into that sock. All the water goes out the one end and the organic material stays inside. And once that hardens, we grow our turf on top. It's as solid as a brand new established turf area, and uh, I think you're gonna love it. So uh, again, we've installed five basins all along this hole, all of which were GPSed using the drone topography that we had done a few years ago. So we knew exactly where to put those basins. And then we completed that, and those lines are actually going underneath the socks material, so you won't even see the drainage lines. So uh, we're excited for this process. We just got started. We're about 300 linear feet down with the socks. Once we reach 400, they'll bring in the dredging machine. We'll start the dredging process and we'll be done once we reach the end, which is a total of 600 linear feet. All right, so at this point, the sock system has been installed all along hole number 15 Lake Bank. You'll see the dredging machine on the left-hand side that's pulling organic matter from the bottom of the lake and pumping it into the socks material. You can see that the socks is anchored down to our lake. It's anchored at the base and then pulled over the top. This first sandy area is our first drainage basin and the muckiest area on this hole, replaced with straight sand. And you can see these two gentlemen are packing down the dirt as it goes into the socks material and again the water goes out the other side. It's a slow process but they continue with this process all the way down the lake while the rest of the team removes the muck by hand between the sock system and our fairway. In our next video, you'll see that we, re we backfill all of those areas with straight sand and we tie in the sock system with our current fairway grade on a nice gradual slope. Okay, so at this point, the sock system is complete. The dredging machine is finished and we've begun the sod installation and sand backfill. You can see Johnny's there, hand water in the sod. Hot days this summer. But it's coming along nicely. You can see that the transition is smooth from lake to fairway. And we have straight sand backfill all the way down hole number 15. So at this point, we've removed the muck, replaced it with straight sand. And we're waiting on the last order of Bimini Bermuda grass sod to come in. The drainage basins have been completed. We have five complete basins throughout the hole for additional drainage in the lowest areas. You can see that drainage line coming off from the lake edge right there. All of those drainage pipes that you see in the video will be anchored down to the bottom of the lake. Back in the winter when we were booking the project, the original timeline was set for roughly a week. The project experienced COVID-19 impact from the contractor. They started with a half crew due to several of their employees getting the virus on other projects. And with a late start, several rain days, and our request to increase the square footage of sod from the socks to the fairway, the project finally finished in 23 days. But I am happy to report that the project came in under budget and the feedback has been great. Now let's take a look at a few other projects during our first summer closure. Hi, I'm John Anderson, Assistant Superintendent here at Collier's Reserve. I just wanted to talk to you today about our verticutting that we're doing on the fairways on the back nine. Uh, so obviously we're closed on the back nine this week as we're doing our work on the golf course. 
Um, our goal here is really just to remove as much material as we can. Uh, we're going about an inch and a half deep uh, with these machines. Uh, so as you can see in the background, it's a lot of material. Uh, you know, per square foot, it's just you're removing tons of dead material. You can see, um, you know, just kind of discolored and, and browned out. And uh, yeah, uh, end result is basically during the season while we're mowing, it's, it makes it harder on the machines if we don't do these kinds of things. Uh, really, you know, the thatch gets really thick and uh, water's not able to move quite as quickly through the, uh, through the root zone. So uh, it also makes for better playability on the, for the players on the golf course. Uh, you know, you can take a nice divot without uh, really swinging too hard or having to put too much effort into it. So um, I'm going to take a minute and just take you back to the shop here and we'll, we'll show you exactly what we mean by the amount of material that we're getting out here. So here I am at the, at the uh, collection site at Golf Maintenance. I just wanted to get a chance to show you the pile of material that we've collected. Uh, so far we've finished hole numbers 18, 10, and 11. And, uh, this is the result. Uh, it's about eight feet tall, 30 feet long. Uh, so just wanted to show you how beneficial it is for the golf course. Hello, I'm Edwin Lopez. I'm assistant superintendent. And today we are here on number 11. I just want to show you something that we do behind the berry cutters. And uh, if, if you notice, the berry cutters, they lift up all the grain. And uh, so we send the fairway unit out to mow circle cut to remove all the, uh, all the grain, all the imperfections of the fairway. You notice here where the fairway unit, unit already mows, it's nice and smooth. And you can see here where the uh, berry cutters uh, lift up all the grain. And you also notice that we don't have any weeds on the fairways. A few weeks ago, we went out to spray all the uh, all the signal grass, all the weeds to keep our our fairways nice and clean. It's part of our our weeds program. And I hope you like what we're doing. We are really happy doing what we're doing, and and I hope you enjoy your summer. We hope you enjoyed that June and July digital state of the course update. I want to thank you again for all your support. We hope you and your families are enjoying the golf course and staying safe. Once again, we'll update you throughout the summer on our next projects.